This finally files for Chapter 11 bankruptcy. No surprise to any of us who've been in this space for any period of time. If you've been watching or listening to the news, you know this week is coming. And with all the things that have happened throughout 2022 and early 2023, I'm sure your mood is similar to this mood that I have right now. Which is, here's a mood right here. Current mood, all right? Now, this is a shirt that my kids got me from Disney. I guess I wasn't in the greatest mood when they were thinking about me. But here's the thing though. I mean, it's no surprise. What is very interesting is the parent company of Gemini and Genesis, really. Gen Gemini is a crypto exchange and Genesis, the lending arm of that exchange, is that DCG, which is the parent company, actually halted their dividends to their shareholders, their quarterly dividends. But here's even more interesting part is they own Coindesk, which if you don't know, is the newsletter, you know, the daily newsletter or news type website that they have for crypto related content. And they're actually selling partial or fully the entire thing. It makes you wonder, right? Why are you trying to get rid of liquid, some assets that you have and at the same time you're stopping or halting dividends? So these are things that we got to look out. DCG is actually the biggest entity that we have to worry about right now. Finance seems pretty clear. Nothing's going to happen there, but DC, DCG is definitely a big entity. And so we need to worry about that just a little bit. But here's the thing. I don't care at all. If you've been on this channel before, or if this is the first time you've been on this channel, you will understand that these Micro events mean nothing to me because I'm looking 10 years out. If you've got that 10 year horizon, whether it's DCG, whether it's Gemini, Genesis, Crypto.com, Three Arrows Capital, FTX, it doesn't matter about the entity. Long term, it's crypto and blockchain and Web3 are here to stay. Binance, if that went down, that one would hurt quite significantly. But even that, we would survive. And if you look at the Bitcoin price, nothing has really changed. It's actually gotten better over the last couple of days. Finally, it's like this news kind of was, you know, the tension in a, in a bottle. When you finally open that bottle for the first time and the gas gets released, that's kind of what this was. Like, okay, it's finally here. Let's move on. So let's see what happens. Don't continue to be in this mood that my kids think that I am in. It's all right. We're going to survive. We've got to keep moving forward. And always look to build your skills and look for quality projects in the space because they're there. The technology is real. Even Jamie Dimon, who says that this is nothing but a decentralized Ponzi scheme, even though he's talking about FTX, which is centralized, and Bitcoin is nothing but a scam, and this, whatever he was saying, what he's always said, but very quiet during the bull run, very loud now during the bear run. But even he has said that the blockchain technology is here to stay. So the crypto aspect, they don't get, they don't like it, they don't want it, they get it, they don't like it. But the underlying technology is here to stay. The cryptocurrency on top of that blockchain, that's the incentive to use the chain. That's not going anywhere. So if you've got that 10 year mindset, you will be in the driver's seat right now because things are on the cheap. Continue to watch them, continue to see what works for you, do your own research, of course. But if you are serious about this space, this is where we make generational wealth. It's not in the bull run. It's now in this bear market.